So yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Urbano. Welcome back to a very quick Dead Frontier update. So guys, I was gonna, you know, upload a mix it on Monday this week, but things just went south. The Ogato, God, I hate that thing sometimes. It just didn't really sync up well. But hey, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Dead Frontier, okay? So client version 45 has finally been released so bandits and dawn weapons to those that are not in the loop dawn weapons are basically these goldenish looking dusk weapons that you know are supposed to be a more beefier version of the regular x ducks we have because the people that have x dusk weapons and regular dusk weapons are like what is the point of dusk anymore it's just it's just obsolete at this point we have new weapons coming out every month and these new weapons are you know pretty much you can just buy them or or just save up enough money and just buy them that way so what's the point of dusk so clayton introduced you know again the dusk weapons uh i feel like i heard that the only way to loot them is from the bandits i could be very wrong on this all right don't quote me on this i think you can loot them as well but, like I said, I could be very wrong that the only way you can loot these items is through, you know, the bandits. So the bandits were finally released, guys, alright? Brand new PvE bandit enemy type. So in my area of expertise, Death Frontier, you know, as we all know, has horrible sync. I don't know if Clayton has really improved that. I think he has, he says, small improvements, main GPP syncs, because the first time he wanted to release these guys, he didn't want you, because he said the sync was just terrible. Even his single player was giving him trouble. So he says, we're just going to hold it off until, you know, the next client update, and it's here, alright? So let's read what he said. So here I am in the Death Frontier farms. Due to the nature of bandits being a new event type, they will not spawn until today's reset. Alright, so, alright, that's cool. Introduction, bandits are a new PvE enemy type that utilizes weapon and player stats the same way you would. Their weapon damage output skills depending on what weapon they have been equipped with and their critical hit accuracy and reloading stat. That means if a bandit has 80 points invested into the critical hit stat and they are wielding a very high critical chance weapon like an iron sight, they will have an 80% chance of the shot being a critical hit. So, basically, if you're a PvPer, you guys have no problem. You know how to, you know, do the 360 spin around, no scope looking weapons, you know, just destroying everybody in your sight. So, people who do PvP on the regular you'll be fine. To the people like me who don't PvP at all anymore, I'd be kind of screwed because I haven't really done PvP in a long time, so my, my I'm really rusty in that. <laughs> threat indicators. Bandit display their accuracy and the area they are a threat to through transparent cones and circles explosive. The threat indicators are colored yellow when a bandit is alerted and colored red when they are engaged in shooting their target. That's cool. These indicators disappear if the bandit has no target or is reloading. Ah... Behaviors. Bandits have a few behaviors. Idle, reloading, alerted, and engage. Idle. Bandit will perform a basic scan of the area looking for a target like other NPCs. Bandit uh, alerted. Bandit will transition into an alert state once a player is in range and can be seen. Bandits using explosive can be alerted through walls and large objects so they can shoot through the walls. That is honestly insane. <laughs> so you can't hide from them. You know, if you're near them, they just know you're there. Just going to be blowing everything up in their freaking vicinity. <laughs> Engaged. Bandit will start shooting at their target and reloading. Bandit will stop shooting and reload with an additional weight cooldown. The speed in which bandits can track their target with their weapons varies based on the bandit's tier and what weapon type they are using. An elite bandit has a multiplayer that increases all tracking speed slightly. Bandits using high precision weapons track their target faster than ones using a crowd control weapon. Uh, a bandit's movement is on a random interval, so they will only reposition or move periodically. Their movement is limited to a range based on their initial spawn position. They will not move beyond that range regardless of target or state. A bandit's movement behavior is also determined by the type of weapon they have equipped. Uh, idle. Bandits will move to a random position. Rifles and explosives will move away from the target and engage. Ah, okay. So basically, if you know how to PvP and you PvP, you know, for, as a way of entertainment for this game, you should know how people with, you know, regular people PvP in those areas. So obviously, if you're using a rifle, you're going to take, you know, distance as well as more or less explosives. Pistols, uh, yeah, you got to be medium and machine guns. Well, they have to move closer because with a machine gun, you can't really shoot anything from a distance. <laughs> Bandit boss group. Bandits will initially be featured as a boss group type. Shooting them grants experience based on the damage you deal and killing them will create a lootable body. Loot pools are similar to existing infected base bosses. Weapons and armor and change based on the zone you kill them in. Ah, this is with the exception that they have a rare chance of dropping experimental parts. So yeah, I was right. You can only loot them from the bandits. Bandit boss groups spawn every hour and do not override with other boss spawns. You must be present within the first 10 minutes of your spawn to be eligible for loot. If you fail to kill and loot them within the allotted 30 minutes event time frame afterward, the loot with the spawner return nothing just similar to DF2's challenge system will be okay so if you want to upgrade these down weapons because i feel like what clayton is saying is if you're gonna take these guys on you're pretty much a veteran all right you know how to take them out quick you know you you know you're not supposed to be weak all right you, you he doesn't want level 50s with a 577 rex trying to take him out all right i know it's unfair to the low players but basically these guys is giving you know so i don't know if you can sell these items i'm not too sure if you can i can understand why he doesn't want them why, why he doesn't want low low player uh, low level players should loot them but let's keep on reading 
Dawn weapons. Dawn weapons are craftable upgrade versions of the X Dusk weapon. Crafting that requires that you own the X Dusk weapon. You want to upgrade experimental parts and a Dawn blueprint for that weapon. So again, only from these bandits. Dawn blueprints can be looted in the inner city. Ah, oh, never mind. So all, you can loot them. Or wastelands that are more common than traditional X item blueprints. Okay, so you can loot the Dawn blueprints. Experiment parts are transfer rare drops from bandit bots. They're transferable, so you can loot them. Oh, so those are the only parts you can loot from the bandits. Okay. Both of these materials can be looted by gold members or non-gold members. Hey! Okay, Clayton! Okay, we see you, man. You're trying to make it nicer for the non-gold members. That's awesome. So non-gold members, look at it. You can actually, you know, sell these parts and sell them in the market. So if you guys if you guys aren't gold members, go out there, get these items and sell them. How much they're gonna sell for, I have no idea. But it's gonna be very interesting to see how much they're gonna go for. Miscellaneous changes and bug fixes. All loot spots dropped by bosses and bandits scale up to their interaction range based on the size of the enemy. A batch of optimizations for referencing audio, lighting, object renders, and object materials. Double object render distance range to help prevent pop-in behavior. That's cool. Some small improvements made to PvP syncs. Thank you. Fire hydrant texture color was changed from yellow to red so it is more visible in the environment. Good, because I'd be getting you killed in box fights. <laughs> Fix the bond spot. Fix a spawn bug that was preventing mission-specific zombies, non-bosses from spawning in some cases. Makes it extremely difficult or impossible to finish certain missions. So we went over this, guys, not too long ago on that video I made, but again, let's keep on reading. Fix a bug that made the players take to an enemy's attack collider. Fix a bug that allows zombies to damage players through walls when meleeing, vomiting, and exploding. Awesome. I thought that was already fixed, though. Hmm. Fix the bug where dog-based infected could hit players facing sideways. Yeah, that was annoying. Fix the bug that allowed multiple loot spots to spawn out of reach. Fix the bug where sometimes scoring a kill in the arena would spam chat with a kill message. Fix the bug that spawned dead body assets out of view, but with still within the scene and seeing using the enlarged minimap UI. Fix the bug where Zeds would respond with not by velocity they shouldn't have. Fixed multiple props that should have had the ability to be shot through. This update contains some uncharted territory for us, so I'll be watching for feedback. I'm sure some difficulty tweaks and AI improvements should prevent some of the chess test your tactics in regards to bandits will be required thanks for support and patience so guys this just came out again it's version 52 i thought it was version 46 hold up whatever <laughs> but yeah it's a lot to, you know take in first things first what i looked at was the bandits all right so you can loot the dom blueprints in the wastelands or the inner city all right you can loot them but the parts is the experimental parts are only you know from bandit boss loot all right so you got to kill these guys you got to go out there and i can see why he did this thing many people are, i was looking in the chat were getting a little upset they're like wait a minute so you have to be there in the first 10 minutes and if you don't loot them in the in the 30 minutes their loots are gone wait what i get it all right but remember it's abandoned boss group so he did improve it to be a pvp thing i have to find out if they actually did improve it because again i'm gonna fight in, in single player all right that's just the way I roll, all right? I don't have a clan. I don't have many friends in this game anymore, but that's the way I roll. I make videos for you guys solo. I'm a lone wolf, but to the people that, you know, are in clans, you know, make a video on it. Show the community how it is. Is it worth it? Is the sink that trash? And obviously the low levels, you know, you guys, it, this is more like a, like a thing for people who are level, you know, 190, 180, 150 and up, you know, people that have experience and Clayton just doesn't want these people to kind of just with, you know, alpha balls and racks and just to get in the way, you know, <laughs> he kind of wants them to shoot, you know, it's messed up. I'm just saying it how it is. All right. Don't think that I'm saying this. It's just the way how it's looking, you know, cause high level things are supposed to be made for the high level players. You know, it's just how it is in the MMO world. That's how they don't want to level one, go into level one. 100 area and getting the most rare item when a level 100 is you know struggling just to get it and the level one comes in one minute and just gets it right off the rip they don't want that they want you to actually work for it and get these items you know with the skills and the time you put into the game so i get it all right i get it this does look a little you know off at first but if you know if five people with wraith cannons comes in <laughs> and shit they just destroy them it makes sense but it will require teamwork right if the sync was perfect i'm talking like there's no lag there's no infinite damage or whatever or the play or this the bandits have infinite health that will be perfect but like i said he made a small improvement to the pvp thing so i'm kind of you know curious about how that will work all right so overall guys this 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 is just pretty much to put more events in the inner city and i just have a huge sandbox with nothing to do okay this is pretty much a way to kind of help us interact more with the game but yeah what do you guys think is this going to be a great addition i might not make a video on it until maybe later on when i get home from what i do during the day i get home pretty late like at 9 30 p.m eastern time so when i get home i'm pretty tired but i'll try my absolute best to find these bandits and take them on i'll be by myself all right i mean i probably have some friends helping me out uh but yeah uh, that's all i got for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry if i kind of 
got got some things wrong to the veterans that are here you know correct me if i'm wrong i really don't care if you criticize me it, it helps me improve my videos but yeah guys i'm on signing out see you guys in the next one take it easy bye